All right, this is the four sides of the ISTJ mind. So ISTJs to me are your most natural accountants. And the reason is they're always like, TE is very numbers focused and SI is keeping their environment, basically tabs and dibs on their environment. If you look at like the ESTJ, they have an opposite. They have the extroverted version. So when you take an extroverted keeping tabs on people and their environment and such, that's like, I know environment is SE, but on orbit with SI is their comfort, essentially. Anyways, when you're an extroverted STJ, it's going to be supervisor. So what is so-and-so doing? That type of a thing. When it's introverted, it's going to be, also you can be supervisor-ish, but for those you love and things like that. But mainly as a profession, since they're not extroverts, which would be supervising or management of people, it's more in the introverted fashion for numbers. So um, even if they're not an accountant, they're really, really into what they're keeping dibs on. So I was at Amazon um, delivery driver, and we have to sometimes when somebody falls behind delivering product or whatever, then they call somebody to help take products from them, maybe 20 packages, and then help get everybody off the road at the same time, or as much as possible. Um, one gentleman that I was helping out was an ISTJ, and you have to basically scan product so that the computer system shows that the product is being transferred from this driver to that driver. Well, the guy would not let me scan anything or touch anything and he was like, I know how to do the job too, right? So I'm taking stuff, scanning it, doing But man, he was having a fit. He's like, wait, wait, don't touch anything. He wanted to make sure he was really dotting his eyes and, and making sure everything was like, I was like, man, I was thinking to myself, I just said, okay, whatever. I just leaned on the truck for a little bit and just let him do whatever his accounting thing was with product and um, I was thinking to myself this is why you're behind but also how fascinating because I was learning about MBTI at the time that this was happening and I said oh my god these guys are accountants by nature even if they're not doing accountants they're uh, literally like with numbers if it's packages they could be a delivery driver they're still taking account of everything so this is partly why again they're so responsible very highly responsible type. Both of these types take good care of people. Even though they have low FE, they do it in their own way, right? Like ESTJs are really, really good at taking care of people. I'll, I'll, I'll save that for ESTJ video, but similar with the ISTJ. Um, they're just so responsible. Very, very responsible. And this is why. is They're just so accountable for their environment and things in it. So super, super responsible. Um, if you want someone doing your books, it's definitely the ISTJ. Um, they can also have a really silly streak about them. Very good people also. FI, is, FI child is like, so an ISTJ is Ryan Fitzpatrick. He's a quarterback, he just retired. Fitzpatrick, I think that's how you spell it. Um, they, these guys can also be really good at like quarterbacking if you're an athlete in ISTJ because SI is like accuracy. So you have a lot of quarterbacks like Ryan Fitzpatrick, Dan, um, Eli, um, I'm sorry, not Eli, um, Peyton Manning, um, Fitzpatrick. The Chiefs guy, all good quarterbacks. They can also be really good at playing pool and billards. And that's because this is like physical. They remember the touch on something, like giving a spin on the ball or putting English on it. They have really good sensitivity to that. Um, ISFJs also are very good at pool. So I think the best pool players. So here's a way you can tell you might be dealing with. Should I say, if, if you have a friend who's good at pool, you might want to start looking at them in 
suspecting they might be one of these types, it's a good hint. Because again, SI Hero does that. And then on Orbit with their skill of SE, yeah, that's why they do that. So anyways, they can be good quarterbacks, they can be good at billards. Just stuff that you have um, that kind of touch where it's not too agility. They're not the most agile, um, but they're good. So for example, like a pocket quarterback would be their style. A scrambling quarterback would not be their style. So anyways, a little bit on the sporting side of things. Um, back to the FI, Ryan Fitzpatrick said he had a plaque on his wall saying work hard and be kind to people and ISTJs are really even though they have FE they can be oblivious to like um, things you should and should not say or taking an interest in people in general um, socializing small talk they don't understand the need for that and stuff but FI child does it in their own way and that's by being kind so the other day I held the door open for some older gentleman coming out of a coffee shop. One was an ISTJ, and the look in his eye was just so appreciative and kind. It's, um, if they see people struggling or confusing, like I saw another ISTJ in line at a restaurant, and they were like, they'll hold doors for somebody to help people out or like, when they do it, it's very genuine, though. It's just a very FI child way. I guess I'm not explaining it very well, but it's not, they're not doing it. You can tell if you observe them. They're not doing it because of that's what you should do for politeness or manners. They're doing it in a very genuine way. It's ah, having trouble explaining it, but I guess you just have to see it. But FI child is like that. Work hard and be kind. That's ISTJ. So like Samwise Gamgee his uh, ISTJ, very loyal to Frodo, his INFP companion. So there's some inter-quadra activity relationship there. Good camaraderie getting, even though it's a fantasy that's, you know, whatever, good camaraderie there to get something done. And yes, the ISTJ will try to take care of the INFP or whoever is in their life whether that person wants it or not. It's just what they do with SI Hero. All right, I've pretty much said that. Natural accountants, good quarterbacks, good billards, take care of people, very responsible, very accountable. When they're in their ENFP subconscious, they're very silly. So they'll actually dance a lot. They, they like to become that inner bard, essentially. They're very good at languages, and they do like to travel. So the best thing that... Un you could do with the ISTJ for fun would be to take them to like take them on the town to hear live music and eat so going to like New Orleans would be great for like all the during um what's that you know that one thing right before Easter like that's what they do that's ENFP subconscious ISTJs love that so go eat with them let them hear live music they'll do that forever Maybe travel, depending on if they're developed here or not. If they're not developed, they would be a little bit more like, eh, I don't want to travel. But if they are developed, they'll travel a lot, learn languages, that kind of a thing. That's ENFP subconscious. ESTP unconscious is when they're gym rats. They can actually be very into um, bodybuilding. My dad is an unconscious focused ISTJ, and he would always collect all the bodybuilding magazines. He's the one that taught me how to lift when I was in high school. I was in football, and he put me on, you know, five sets, push and pull system. I worked out for a good four years in high school and got pretty big, but it was under my dad. He had all the gym equipment and all the muscle and fitness magazines and that kind of thing. So they can be very into weightlifting also if they're unconscious focused, if, or should I say develop and or focus but definitely more develop um, that's just how that goes whereas if they're unconscious or I'm sorry if they're subconscious develop they're going to be more into travel so that's like um, Shio Man and I've said these guys before but um, Rick Steves 
these guys are subconscious SD ISTJs and then quarterbacks are going to be like you know um, Fitzpatrick um, etc etc those are going to be your unconscious develop all right so that's what they do there natural accountants good biller players that kind of thing travel languages can be goofy um, and then into the gym bodybuilding that type of a thing when they're in their subcon in their super ego that's where basically they can be a little bit more reckless um, just going after like what they want in like in a negative way they just be like go crazy and just buy all these things so essentially their fiduciary responsibility that is just like towards their family or their own bank account or just high accountancy goes completely out the window and they just end up buying things so they'll just buy things like and then usually when they're out of this they go back here and then they regret what they just did so they'll go crazy shopping sprees and then be like damn i just spent so much money and that's when they're going to their super ego um, but in a healthy way they can also have little nuggets of wisdom every once in a while that you know my dad once told me um he never gave me any very rare does he ever go down the, like this is their demon function so um, like wisdom and insight kind of tease them off a little bit or deep thinking and analyzing tease them off a little bit it bothers them and why is that so things like um, you know well yeah the reason why is because they're just so living life right now they want to experience the flavors of the food and the experiences of life it's very zoned zoomed in if you zoom them out it's like they're enjoying their bed or they're enjoying their food and it's like picking them up by the shirt and taking them zooming them out of the pleasurable experiences of life and that's why that can be a little bit bothersome for them they don't want to really analyze life they want to experience life so that's what that's about but when they do drop some wisdom it's like my dad said the whole point of life is to just get married and have children because they're they're the ones that will live on after you right so that's like for me as an INFJ in reverse I don't have much SI so I don't think about like family oriented things necessarily and so for him to say that was eye-opening to me it was like seems so simple but I couldn't argue against it it's, you could accomplish everything you want but you got to have balance if there's no one there for you it doesn't matter so it's like my TJ dad always said too when you're traveling it can be lonely if you don't have anyone to travel with so you know it's not all about traveling these are very affiliative personality types right here anyways so that's where he's saying that from but yeah let me see I hope I did this ISTJ justice here if there's anything else I want to say real quick my whole plan was to make these videos quick anyways, but I keep on making them like 15 minutes, so I guess I'll stop there. Also, I got an ISTJ fairy tale book you can check out on Amazon. Uh, allegory fairy tale I wrote with the help of ChatGPT. I only have these guys, and the INFP is out also. Um, called Luna and the Mirror of Self-Discovery, but whatever. You check those guys out. These are the only two types that I have finished because it's a lot of work and I don't know if anyone will actually read them so <laughs> uh, but anyways check that out on Amazon I only have them and the IS INFP so far so whatever maybe I'll finish the series regardless just because I'm a finisher type and that'd be kind of cool to finish the series anyways just for a creative outlet so maybe I'll just finish them anyways but yeah that's that um, those are the four sides of the ISTJ mine.